I wouldn't say this is the, what China want. I think that's the majority of Hong Kong people want. I think to label the very word China control is already discriminating. It's not that China suddenly dreams something and then said, today I want you to have this. Slam it down your throat. It's not the case. I mean, Hong Kong's para- economy is in paralysis. Our freedom and democracy and way of life is being threatened, being kidnapped by a minority of the politician or, or agitated uh, uh, characters. So what can we do about that, right? I mean, we look at the government, they try, but obviously it was not very effective. So we have to look at the central government and look, I mean, maybe something you need to actually, from a higher level, to help Hong Kong to do it. In a way, it's very good to us, right? The electoral change primarily is trying to expand the democratic base of Hong Kong, you know. Therefore, there might be room, really, for newcomers like us, whoever will be elected by definition should be more democratic or should be more uh, uh, um, uh, in tune with what people want. Yes. More people uh, representing is always less, uh, better than less people. So do you think that Hong Kong should learn from the mainland systems of governing? Sure, why not? I mean, the mainland system of governing is very efficient. Then why did you choose to live in Hong Kong and have your political party set up here in Hong Kong? Well, first of all, I'm a Hongki. You know, I grew up here even though I only came here when I was 12. And um, essentially, I was made in Hong Kong, right? And I still come back to Hong Kong because Hong Kong is really literally the best place to live. You know, have the kind of convenience, have the kind of like a calmness, the harmony, the diversity, right?